Yeah, I think what you're seeing over these first main areas, which is the, the meteor, the garden, and the airplanes outside in the courtyard, is you're essentially in the landscape of the new world. And that landscape can be organic, and it can be somewhere between, or it can be catastrophic, <laughs> or it can be technologically astounding. This narrative of 14th Factory is, is a narrative of crisis, collision, transformation, and it mirrors the, the process of globalization in like a very, a very interesting way, I think. Like well, I think you, you would, you'd be better spoken, uh, you know, you're, you're better informed and qualified to talk about that than I am. Because I'm, I'm in some ways, I'm reactive. Explaining that in, in a very articulate sense, what I've done is explain it in a visual sense because that's what I do, I'm an artist. The, the broader repetition is this rise and fall, this expansion and contraction, this tragedy and beauty, these, these things that are constantly at odds with one another, this uh, rise and fall of, of different civilizations. Therefore, symbols of that rise and fall are throughout the exhibition. You know, a massive frozen explosion, you could argue, is, is this slow motion thing that's going on in the world right now, that everything's about to collapse. It's just happening so slowly you can't see it because the sky's still blue and birds are still singing. But actually, it's all exploding right now or collapsing, you know? So that rise and fall of civilizations and, and our own lives is repeated through the objects and the landscape of this project. You know, you, you confront you have you've conflict you you have failure and then you have resolution, resolution. and transformation and enlightenment yeah yeah i mean that, why, why is that why is that so central like what is this narrative well the narrative is well, the narrative is everybody's narrative is everyone everyone is is bought into this extraordinary world of course the real reward of the journey is not the object it's the transformation right. and hopefully a transformation that, that improves you and, and, and that is something you can pass on to others. Hopefully the idea is that once you've been through this process, just as our hero has, you've been transformed as an audience member uh, in a literal sense, that you've somehow been affected. And, and if you have in some way, then that, that's great. And maybe you'll see the world differently or act differently, or maybe you'll want to make something. That's the hope, because that, it's been transformative for us to make it. You know, we've been through the hero myth structure, literally building the show over the last four or five years. We've been through all kinds of tasks and trials and had all kinds of allies and enemies. So we're at the point of reward, I suppose, whether things actually exist. Um, and then after that, I can go home, hopefully transformed. <laughs>